When Curtis Hutchinson was a kid, he never had a radio flyer. You know, one of those classic little red wagons. Well, he is sure made up for that. Curtis now has one of the biggest <laughs> and coolest ones ever, probably. The not-so-little red <laughs> wagon, and he is kind of tooling around South Lakeland right now with our very own Ken Suarez. And you're right, we are a little jealous, Ken. You know, back in the day, I remember I had a little red wagon, and if I wanted it to move, I would have to pull it, and it would go behind me. But this guy, my new best friend, Curtis, he can't turn around because he's driving, and that would be unsafe. But all he has to do is put his foot on the gas, and this baby will go from zero to 90 in just seven seconds flat. When Curtis Hutchinson... Oh, it's a ball. It's a lot of fun. ...takes these wheels for a spin... Second looks are second nature. A lot of smiles, a lot of thumbs up, a lot of pictures. Curtis drives it everywhere, to the barber shop, to deliver his real estate signs. But his wife, Kathy, says, please, honey, not to church. Her hair's like standing on end, so um, I just prefer not to ride it some ride in it on somewhere like that. So most anywhere else or whatever. This is presumably the only one of its kind. A radio flyer built from the ground up with a 350 engine and power to spare. That's 50-year-old technology, but um, that's just basically an old 50s hot rod. About 10 years ago, one of Curtis's buddies in Muncie, Indiana, built a radio flyer on a golf cart. Curtis saw it, fell in love, and decided to build the turbo version. Basically, after the mechanic work was done, I finished everything in my garage. Built the body, installed the carpeting, painted it, and now, very proud of it. You can see everything that makes a car run, the engine, transmission, gas tank. He's invested $30,000. Would you sell it? I've been offered a couple offers, but I haven't wanted to right now. Uh, having too much fun with it. And so are the people who catch a quick glimpse as it flies past them. Now, obviously, we're going a lot slower because we're driving through a neighborhood, and I am lucky enough to be getting a ride, but you can check this out. Every Friday night over at Burger King and Hardin Boulevard, they have a car show, and these guys go as long as it's not raining. You heard Kathy say that she doesn't like her hair messed up if it's too much wind. <laughs> well, I think if it's raining, number one, it's not good for the car, probably not good for her hair either. So don't go that night to check them out. Not on Friday night. Okay, and tell him we love his fuzzy dice, too. It just adds to the whole experience. Beep, beep. <laughs> I had those in my truck. We love those things. Yeah. The anchors love your fuzzy dice. Oh, yeah. And you, and Kathy. Thank you, Ken. I think we're actually going to go back and talk to him a little bit later sure. on. That would be great. Cast. All right, yeah, thanks, he's Ken. he's driving. You know, we don't want him to be distracted. I know. We 90 know. miles an hour. Well, 90 well. miles an hour. That is which, the fastest, what is it, fly, flyer that I've ever seen. Yeah, which Red means he, he could be right here at Fox 13 in about 35 minutes.